up? This KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at you fellas again with that motherfucking heat. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin to the back of her motherfucking neck, holding her down, locking her down, literally with this game, pimping. And I mean literally with this game. Oh, yeah. Please like. You already know what that is. Some thumbs up. Share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with this shit, heat or ear candy. Down your phone to your ear all can. You got to get it. You got any comments, get at me in my Gmail, railsfargo12 at gmail.com. That's R-E-L-L-S-F-A-R-G-O-1-2 at gmail.com. Or get at me in my YouTube. I'm all ears. Fellas, stop supporting these fake-ass dating sites. And I want to jump down on that because... um. My experiences dealing with shit like that, I see that everything is kind of the same. Whether it's Instagram, Facebook here and there, it depends on where it's with, you know, who you know personally or whatnot. Uh, IG, basically here and there if you know anyone personally or whatnot. Snap, if you know anyone personally or whatnot. However, those sites are basically dating sites, you know. And in many a times, it can be fake ass dating sites. You got um, Tinder, you got um, POF, Plenty of Fish. You got all these dating sites out here. And um, <clears throat> you download them, you you know, you apply them to your phone, you apply your method and hollering at these females, trying to get across, trying to do your thing. You know, you look at it like that's the new age of dating, which it is. It is new age of dating, however. Because we're living in a modern time to where it's, everything is at your fingertips. Through your phone, through the computer, tablet, however it go. You know how it go. Yeah, smartwatch, everything is modern. So, a lot of you fellas will find yourself getting out there and meeting different women, different ethnicities. And some might be African American, Caucasians. And you do your thing. You're trying to holler at them. You're trying to pick them up. You're trying to bang. You're trying to pipe some shit down. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to beat some shit up. It ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with trying to holler at these women. Ain't nothing wrong with trying to shoot your shot. Ain't nothing wrong with put yourself, putting yourself out there on these dating sites if you are a single guy or if you're a guy that loves different tastes and women. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, I can't knock you. I love different tastes of women. And, you know, I'm a single guy. So there's nothing wrong with that. However, we typically run across... <laughs> Problems and you fellas know this. I know you know. Ain't no if ands or buts about it. It can be, you can be the most tall, broader, handsomest, you know, handsome man that can be appealing to every female's eye. He's gonna go through these problems. I don't give a fuck who you are. You can be motherfucking Hercules. You can be motherfucking shit, Mr. Olympic, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't give a fuck who you are. You are going to run across these problems. All those dating sites. All right, every time you get on those dating sites, you try to holler at these chicks, and these is chicks just, you feel top of the line. You're like, damn, she's pretty cool. She digging me. She digging my profiles. Um, my profile pic, she's shooting at me. She's showing interest. You go to shoot your shit back at her. You showing a little interest. Not probably high as her because she's jumping on you too much. You, you letting that breathe. You, you getting all that. You, you feeling real good. You feeling yourself. <laughs> Until she sent your ass to a link to verify your age. <laughs> and shit like that. Which is fake. So many cases. So many cases. It's there for those women. To milk you out of your bread. To get you out your money. And they got fake verification sites set up. So when you put your card number in and all that shit, they going to get you. It happened to one of my partners. That's how I became schooled on it a couple years back doing that shit. Then I have to highlight another partner. Shout out to the homie Ryan Rizzle, Ryan Ryan. You know what I'm saying? When he said, man, it's official. It's fake. It's official like the, like the referee's whistle. Then I knew right then and there. That they are out here doing this. And they gaming a lot of guys with that. You know, watch out for that shit. And not only that, they send links to their OnlyFans account. They send links to 
accounts that they have so you can get pictures and views and paying your money for these, you know, for, for them, you know, doing what they doing it on, you know, the nudity thing or whatever, getting naked, dance, popping their ass, they doing all that shit. You paying your money. You're not going to meet those women. Those are women you're not going to meet. Chances is basically slim to none. You're not going to meet those women. You're not going to do anything with those women. They normally typically got husbands and boyfriends. They live far off somewhere, probably not even in your city. And that's how they make their money. It's off that. So watch that. Don't fuck with it. I wouldn't fuck with it. Your best route is to go through like a snap, Facebook, Instagram, and things like that. But you also got to watch it on that. Because they'll jump in your DMs and they'll send you links to their OnlyFans. They'll send you links to certain accounts so you can verify your age. You know, you give them your, you, they ask for your phone number so they can send you pictures. They send you a thousand motherfucking pictures. And it ain't nothing but someone behind that shit controlling that shit, getting you out of your money. Whether it's a dude, whether it's couples, whether it's a woman, whether it's someone that don't even speak your own fucking language, you don't even know. Your own, you know, don't, it's not even from this country. You do not know who's on the other side of that. So watch your money, watch your credit card, fellas, watch your bank card, watch your debit, or whatever, however you expressing your um gratitude for these women through the pay. Watch that shit, man. You know, you know what's real and you know what's fake. You know how to set dates and you know how to get women, you know, you know what's real and you know what's fake based in so many words. So this video is somewhat, somewhat geared up towards that. And that's what these women are doing. And it seemed like all of them are doing it. All your gorgeous, beautiful, and thick ones, bad ones, the ones you, you want to, damn, you want to just knock the soul up out that bitch. But however, it's fake. It's bullshit. Yes, you can hit women like that. Yes, there's nothing wrong with the traditional way of seeing them in a grocery store, a gas station, and, you know, the, the mall. Or, you know, it's, there's nothing wrong with traditional way of hollering. That'll never be played out. That's always going to be in the game because that's traditional. So when you know when you hollering at women that way, it's real. Or hey, it, she either gonna flake on you when she give you the number, or she gonna you know y'all gonna take it in. So, but when you are dealing with these online sites, normally it's fake. You know you want to see some ass, you want to see some some titties bump, you want to see some you want to see some graphic triple X rated type shit. You got Pornhub, you got. You know, you got XXL, it'll be XXX, XXN, whatever that shit is. You got a lot of these vivid videos. and You got a lot of these sites that you can get into the porn on if you want to watch that shit. If you into that. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I shy away from a lot of that because I want the real deal. I've done all that shit porn. I did all that beating meat. I did all that shit. But years ago, especially during time. But you want to shy away from all that shit and get to know, get to, to get to yourself. Gratify yourself. Become happy within yourself. And if it takes you to deal with a lot of women, having sex with multiple women, or being with one woman, being alone, you know, creeping through here and there, getting married, whatever it takes you to be happy, be happy. You know what I'm saying? What what makes me happy may not make you happy. What makes me happy is multiple women. I can't be happy with one. I can't I can't even do probably one more than two weeks with one woman. What I heard getting on my nerve. Get the fuck on. They got a mouth. They talk a lot of shit. However, you fellas, watch these dating sites. It's not real. A lot of it is not real. Fuck a lot of it. Ain't none of this shit real. Unless you get an indirect dating set up to where you can go meet this person. And, or she may be out of town and you may be where you at. And she's willing to, you know, y'all can fly each other in or you go see her. She comes see you. And, you know, the confirmation is verified. Everything is good between y'all. That's cool. Other than that, it's fake, man. So keep your cards in your pocket. Put them up. And don't fuck with that shit, man. Do not pay homage. Do not put these bitches on a pedestal. You're validating these bitches by giving up your card, verifying your age and shit like that. When they ask for your number, if you give them your number, you got FaceTime just like I got FaceTime, just like they got FaceTime. We all got FaceTime. If she can't contact you FaceTime right then and there, it is fake. If she's not calling you to talk to you right then and there, fuck the pictures she's sending. It is fake. You know, 
That's how you can tell if this shit's real or if it's fake. If she's not trying to call you FaceTime, if she's not trying to talk to you, and if she, you know, you got some of them that are fake like they calling you FaceTime too, you got to watch that. They'll call you, like, damn, okay, this bitch call, boom. You go answer the motherfucker, they, hello, hello, they hang up on you. I've been through all that shit because that's not real. It's fake. Then they, oh, you see, I try to call you. Can you, um... Send me $100 for my airtime, for my computer time, for my minutes, and all this other shit. Box. It's bullshit. You know how to do it, man. So once you see a lot of that shit occur, then it's like, you become a Ferris wheel. It becomes something that's going to be a part of your dating world. So to excuse that shit, you know what to look for. Get it out your life. Don't fuck with it. Save your bread, player. Holla.